Hello developers and welcome back. In this video, we're going to make a quick overview about the Jetpack Compose course that we're going to publish on this channel. Before we start, please like, subscribe and comment below if you are interested in this course. Jetpack Compose is a modern declarative UI toolkit for building native Android user interfaces. It simplifies and accelerates UI development by allowing you to define your app's UI using Kotlin in a more intuitive and concise way compared to the traditional XML-based approach. When we say declarative UI, we mean that instead of manually updating views as in the old view system you describe what the ui should look like for any given state and compose handles the rendering ui components are built using composable functions annotated with composable annotation these functions can be reduced and reused to create complex UIs. The UI automatically updates when the underlying state changes, making it easier to manage dynamic content. Compose works seamlessly with existing Android views, so you can adopt it in your application. Android Studio provides live previews, animation debugging, and other tools to make Compose development faster and more efficient. Jetpack Compose is the future of Android UI development and learning it is essential for building modern, efficient and maintainable apps. Before we start diving in into the Jetpack Compose course, uh, you can go to Udemy and check my uh, courses about uh, Java and Kotlin, also about uh, Jetpack Compose. So these are my bestseller courses on Udemy, highest ranking. Uh, you can check my Jetpack Compose. Don't worry about the prices. I'll give you, contact me in the comments below. I'll give you the components. Uh, it's about 11 hours and I'm adding new content about uh, Jetpack Compose in this course. So contact me to give you uh, coupons in the comments below and check the description to get your own uh, coupon. Back to our course. We will start with Compose uh, Fundamentals. And in the introduction to Jetpack Compose, we're going to learn about what is Jetpack Compose, the declarative UI versus the imperative UI and composable functions. As I said before, composable functions, uh, UI comp they are UI components built using composable functions annotated with composable annotation. These functions can be reused and combined to create complex UI. Declarative UI, instead of manually updating views as in the old view system, you describe what, you, uh, what the UI should look like for any given state and compose handles the rendering. Then we're going to move to the basic UI components. In Jetpack Compose, basic UI components are the building blocks for creating user interfaces. These components are the composable functions that you can use to design your app's layout and functionality. For example, the text displays a text string on the screen, customizable with styles, colors, fonts, and alignment. We're going to learn about these, uh, these styles, colors, fonts, and uh, alignment. These are the parameters. The button, a clickable uh, UI element that triggers an action. You can include text, icons or other contents the image displays an image from a resource url or drawable supports scaling cropping and other transformations text fields uh, allow uh, users to input text supports hint uh, labels and validation then we're going to move to the layouts so inside the layouts we're going to learn about column row and box Colon arranges its children vertically in a colon, ideal for vertical layouts. Row arranges its children horizontally in a row, useful for creating horizontal layouts. And the box stacks its children on top of each other, 
useful for overlaying components. Uh, the spacer adds empty space between components, helps uh, in layout spacing and alignment. We're going to learn about the card as surface with rounded corners and elevation, often used for displaying content in contained manner. Also, we're going to learn about lazy column and lazy row. Efficiently display large lists of items vertically, lazy column, or horizontal lazy row. Only renders items uh, that are visible on the screen, improving performance. We're going to learn about modifiers. So uh, it's a very important topic. A modifier is a powerful tool for customizing the appearance and behavior of UI components used for padding, sizing, alignment click handling and more. These are the basic components that uh, they are the foundation of Jetpack Compose UIs. By combining and customizing them, you can create complex and interactive layouts. Then we're going to learn about a very interesting and very intuitive topic in Jetpack Compose, which is the state management. State management is a core concept in Jetpack Compose that determines how your UI reacts to changes in data. Since Compose is a declarative UI framework, the UI is a function of the app's state. When the state changes, the UI automatically recomposes to reflect the new state. We're going to learn about state, recomposition, state hoisting, and view model integration. State is any data that can change over time and affect the UI. For example, text input, uh, toggle state, list of items. Compose uses observable state to track changes and the trigger UI updates. So this is the Compose fundamentals. Now we're going to move to the advanced Jetpack Compose. We're going to learn about navigation. Navigation is the process of moving between different screens or destinations in your app. Unlike the traditional Android navigation system, which relies on fragments and navigation component, Compose provides a declarative and composable way to handle navigation. Also, we're going to pass data between screens and we're going to learn about this important topic. Then we're going to move to the theming and the styling. We're going to learn about material design three, custom themes, typography. These are very important topics. Later, we're going to move to the animation. So we're going to learn how to make simple animations and transition, transition animations. Also, we're going to learn about testing, unit testing composables and UI testing with Compose. These are the advanced Jetpack Compose topics. Moreover, we're going to learn about real world projects. We're, so we're going to build these amazing projects, real world projects, building a simple uh, app to do list application and weather application, going to learn many topics in this uh, application. Also, we're going to learn how to integrate APIs, for example, retrofit for network calls, displaying data in Compose. Uh, these are very important and interesting topics like uh, receiving data from APIs, uh, fetching JSON, respo JSON responses, um, like modeling, serializing, and deserialization of uh, JSON objects. These are very important topics we're going to learn in these applications. Moreover, we're going to learn about database integration. Of course, uh, we're going to introduce our friend Rune database and offline first applications like uh, shared preferences and other uh, local storage applications. Room is a persistence library provided by Android as part of the Jetpack Compose uh, or Jetpack uh, suite. It uh, simplifies database management, offers an easy to use layer over SQLite, reducing boilerplate code, uh, checks SQL queries at compile time, minimizing runtime errors, uh, works well with live data, Kotlin coroutines, and RxJava for reactive and asynchronous programming. 
in short, Room makes it easier and safer to work with local databases in Android apps. Of course, these uh, applications will, uh, will follow MVVM architecture, model view view model. Also, we're going to learn about architectures and clean architectures later on. The next topic is publishing to Play Store. We're going to learn about app signing and the release process. Then we're going to move about advanced topics and optimizations. Here uh, we'll talk about uh, performance uh, optimization like reducing recomposition, profiling tools. Also, we're going to learn about custom components, building a reusable, composable canvas and custom drawing. Um, then we're going to move into a very important and very advanced topic, which is dependency injection. We're going to learn about manual dependency injection. We're going to learn about Hilt framework and the other frameworks uh, for dependency injection. Dependency injection is a design pattern used to manage dependencies between classes and components in an application. It promotes loose coupling, testability, and maintainability by decoupling the creation of objects from their usage. In Android development, dependency injection is commonly used to provide instances of classes like repositories, view models, or APIs to other parts of the application. Then we're going to move into Work Manager. Work Manager is an Android Jetpack library that simplifies the scheduling and execution of background tasks in a way that in, uh, is both efficient and compatible across all Android versions. It is designed for tasks that need to run reliably, even if the app exists or exits uh, or the device restarts. Then we're going to move uh, to Firebase. Firebase is a comprehensive platform developed by Google for building and managing mobile and web applications. It offers a range of cloud-based services that help developers handle tasks such as real-time database, uh, services like the Firebase uh, real-time database and Cloud Firestore allow for quick synchronized data updates across clients. Authentication simplifies user authentication with ready-to-use solutions supporting email, password, social logins, and more. Moreover, we're going to learn about cloud um, messaging, uh, enables sending push notifications and in-app uh, messages to engage users. Also, we're going to learn about uh, storage. This is used for, uh, provides a scalable hosting for web applications and storage solutions for user-generated content. This is a very interesting topic. Then we're going to build professional real applications. For example, the movies app and e-commerce app. By the way, these are not only the topics that may, uh, that are included. Maybe we're going to add um, more contents and more applications. So here in the professional real apps, and uh, not necessarily we're going to uh, to make only two. We're going to make more, uh, but. Uh, for now, we're going to learn uh, to learn how to build this application using the MVVM architecture, Room, Retrofit, and Hilt. Also, in the e-commerce app, we're going to learn about Firebase, Room, here Retrofit, or sorry, Room and MVVM and Hilt. So we're going to learn about Firebase as a backend for e-commerce app, and here the Retrofit, which is the uh, fetching the data from API as a backend for our movies app. So this is our lovely Jetpack Compose uh, course. I hope you uh, stay tuned for the next uh, lessons and the, the next uh, topics and tutorials and don't miss anything from this course. This is a very important and very interesting course about Jetpack Compose. Again, guys, if this is your first time here, please subscribe. Um, if you are interested in this course, please comment below that you are in. If you have any questions, any suggestions, please comment in the comments below. Thank you, guys. In the next videos, 
we're going to start with this interesting course.